Mountain Quarry is a loud and lively place, full of big, booming machines. And explosive blasts. It was nearly the end of the day, but the narrow gauge engines of the quarry were still working hard. Going down, next stop, the ferry bottom. Race you to the crashing shed, Luke. Whoever gets down first gets to take the first load of gravel. You're on. <laughs> It just ran out in front of me. It was a deer. That's right. Huh. And a young one, too, by the look of it. Well, whatever it was, it doesn't belong down here in the quarry. It gave me a fright. You were frightened of a small animal? It leapt out of nowhere. Come on, everybody. It's time to wind things down. This will be the last Lord of the day. Oh. Don't worry, Luke. There's plenty more to do tomorrow. All this gravel needs to be taken up to Alfstead Castle. We should all go and get a good night's rest. All the busy engines and noisy machinery at the Blue Mountain Quarry settled down for the night. But young Luke was excited about the busy day ahead. He didn't feel sleepy at all. <laughs> Which was why Luke was the only one to see. The deer! Hey, come back. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Hello, little fella. Oh. Luke was sad to see the young deer go, but he was very glad to have seen him up close. He didn't expect to see the deer again. So the next day, Luke was surprised to find his new friend was still around. Good morning, friend. Morning, Luke. Shh, Reneas. Don't frighten my new friend. Honestly, Luke, the quarry is no place for an animal. Nonsense. I'm sure that once he meets everyone and sees how great it is here in the quarry, he'll love it just as much as I do. Well, I don't think that's being really useful. <coughs> but Luke felt sure he could look after his new friend and still be really useful. Luke puffed as quietly as he could, but every loud noise from the work in the quarry... <laughs> ..made the young deer cower and crouch further down inside Luke's camp. Until... Oh! ..the deer scampered away once more. Back, little friend. I like your new friend, Luke. He's fun. Where are you, friend? Going down. <gasps> Phew. I'm not sure the quarry is the right place for him. I think it might be a bit too noisy. You're right, Owen. There's only one thing for it. We're all going to have to work more quietly. Oh, dear. The other engines were happy when they saw Luke and his new friend back together again. They wanted to help, so 
they all moved slowly and steadily, lifting heavy stones and shifting dusty gravel, without making any loud noises. Until... Peter Sam was trying so hard to work quietly that he wasn't watching where he was going. And then there was trouble. Sorry, Luke, but there's no way we can do our jobs properly if we're trying to be quiet. He's right, I'm afraid. It's harder to work slowly and quietly than it is to work quickly and noisily. But what about my friend? Face it, Luke. You can't be really useful and look after your friend. That deer does not belong here. He does belong here. It just takes a little while to fit in. That's all. He'll soon get used to it, just like I did. Luke, why don't you take this load of gravel to the castle? Your new friend might enjoy the journey through the park. And taking the gravel will be really useful. So Luke was hooked up to Scarloe's loaded wagons of gravel. <coughs> Luke found his new friend, and together they set off, slowly, on the narrow gauge line to Ulfstead Castle. The park around the castle was very different to the Blue Mountain Quarry. The air was clear and fresh. The colours were bright and cheerful. But most of all, it was so, so quiet. The young deer loved it. The further away from the quarry Luke chuffed, the happier the deer seemed to be. Oh, look, friend. That animal looks just like you. Hey, come back. Oh, I see. That's okay, friend. Off you go. Hmm. Luke was sad to say goodbye to his new friend, but he knew that the deer would be much happier here. <laughs> Look who's here! Welcome back! But where's your friend? Where he really belongs. In the park at Ulfstead Castle. Well done, Luke. You know, you can always go back and visit him with the next load of gravel. So, you'd better get that stone moved up to the gravel crusher. Right away, Scarloey. Luke was happy that his new friend found a better place to live. And he was happy to be back with his old friends in the Blue Mountain Quarry, making lots of noise and being really useful.